What's going on, people? Um, been a little bit since I uh, did a uh, video, so I had some time. It's Thanksgiving. I'm not doing shit. Um, so I figured, you know, why not make a video? Um, do some more uh, Android smartphone shit here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cover the cases a little bit more and then uh, show a little bit or maybe even a lot about what you can do with the Android operating system. Um, this video might be rather lengthy, um, so get ready for it. All right. Um, I have the Samsung Galaxy S2, the Samsung Galaxy S3, and the Samsung Galaxy S4. Uh, now, these are all AT&T variants. Uh, you've probably seen this one in my uh, rooting video. Um, and these two in my recent videos about the cases. Um, yes, the uh, S3 still works. Um, after I ran water over it, it's fine. The case does work. It's great. Um, the S2 case here, um, it is all right. It's like six bucks on eBay. Uh, it it's rubbery, you know. It has one of those um, like screen protector things that's like built into the like glued to the plastic. And um, this case is all right. I mean it it a little bit but not much uh, life proof is the way to go this case is badass um, the cruiser light case for my s4 um, it's a very good case um, haven't had any problems with it it's a uh, it's awesome uh, going back to the s3 the only thing I don't like about the life proof case is that if you're trying to do something on the edge of the screen right here the case like gets in the way of your finger um, and it, it doesn't register. Um, and a thing with bad thing about this case is, uh, I'll just show you, uh, the drop down menu or the uh, notification bar or whatever, it's kind of hard to, well, of course I did it because I'm filming, but sometimes it's, it's hard to bring it down. Uh, and this case also has the same problem as the life proof case with the uh, corner thing. Uh, but, you know, it's an alright case for six bucks. And that was with shipping. Okay, um, now let's go move on to the Android operating system. Um, S2 is running Jelly Bean 4.1.2. Um, it did not get a 4.2 or a 4.3 or even a KitKat official update from AT&T. So pretty much um, if I want to go to uh, Android KitKat or Android Lollipop, I have to boot a custom ROM. AT&T is not going to release a, an official over-the-air update for it because it's so old. Planned obsolescence, it sucks. Because uh, this is a really good phone. I, I used it for a while. In fact, this is my second S2. My first one, uh, I decided to go swimming in the ocean with it. I had to get another one. Um, S3 here is uh, running KitKat. And show you real fast. If you don't know uh, how to do this, this is how you do it. Android version. Just tap on that and kick that. Yeah, I know it's not like the latest version of KitKat. KitKat 4.4.4 is, but you know, it it's KitKat. Whatever. All right, clear that out. And uh, it's you know it, pretty much the same as. Uh, <laughs> the S2, I mean, the really no difference besides, like, you know, the multi-screen and, um, you know, just stuff that is exclusive to the S3. I mean, it, it looks similar. Scrolls pretty much the same. 
another thing is that uh, yes this is a you know completely like 100% legit AT&T S3 with stock ROM on it the stock Samsung ROM um, however uh, since I have root access I can uh, run this mod call Wanum Expose. You have to have the uh, exposed installer in order to run Wanum Expose. But anyway, you install Wanum, and it basically unlocks some of the things that are like native to Android that Samsung like you know covers up, like the scrolling background and the uh, CRT function off this thing. See, normally a Samsung, it just goes off. But the Wanum Exposed uh, mod is very, very awesome. I recommend it um, if you're going to root your phone. I uh, recommend if you're going to root your phone, um, root it with uh, Tower Root uh, if you can. Um, Tower Root's um, kind of like uh, been patched. Uh, for the most part, um, carriers are starting to roll out updates that were, you know, tower won't work. Um, so if you can use it, use it. If not, um, I think there's like another way that you can, uh, root your phone. Uh, it's just a bigger pain in the ass. It's not one click like tower. It is like, like, uh, all you got to do is install it and say like, this is the, uh, this is the uh, Tower Root app. I don't have it installed. I'm not going to install it, but uh, you just tap on it and it opens up and it, it'll say uh, "Make it rain." And you tap on that and it goes, "Thank you, you're rooted." Bam! It's it's fucking great. It's awesome. Um, so if if you want to root your phone, do it with Tower Root. And if you want to run like some cool mods and shit, get the Wanum mod uh, or Wanum Expose mod, whatever it is. Um, all right, let's talk a little bit about uh, bootloaders. All my phones have, well, my S2 and my S3 have a factory unlocked bootloader. Well, what's a bootloader, you ask? Okay, a bootloader basically tells your phone what to do upon boot up. Uh, basically, it tells it what software to load and whatnot. Uh, as of the S4 right here, AT&T has started locking their bootloaders. This means it's hard to obtain root and you're not allowed to swap out the kernel for a custom kernel. And what a kernel is, it's the layer between the hardware and the end user or the software and the end user. I, I, I forgot one of those. Uh, you can't swap out kernels and you can't install a custom recovery. However, if your uh, AT&T Galaxy S4 is on this baseband the UCUAMDL Android version 4.2.2 if your phone is on that then you can use what's called a Loki bypass. And what that does is that it pretty much just bypasses the locked bootloader and allows you to install custom ROMs and custom kernels. Uh, I don't have any ROMs for my S4 is rooted and it has been Lokied, <laughs> of course. I mean, all actually, in fact, all three of my phones are rooted. Um, but you know, these two don't need Loki. Loki, it's just for the S4. Uh, I haven't booted any ROMs yet, but I have installed a uh, custom recovery, a Clockwork mod. Uh, there are two very popular types of recovery. Uh, one is Clockwork mod, and the other is TWRP, Team Win Recovery Project. Personally, my I love Clockwork mod. I've used Twerp. I, I just I like Clock, Clockwork mod. Especially the one that I have on this because it's uh, it's all touch. You move up and down. You scroll up and down, and you know the menu moves up and down, and you swipe left and right for confirmation or cancel or whatever. It's pretty badass. Uh, so uh, 
I'm actually looking forward to booting a lollipop ROM on this phone as soon as the developers start popping out ROMs for it. They've already started popping out an unofficial ROM, I want to say, for the S3. However, I can't install a custom recovery on this phone unless I want to trip warranty bit. And what the warranty bit is, is basically if you have to turn your phone in for service, like send it back to Samsung because, you know, something went wrong because they fucked it up in the factory and it shows that your warranty bit has been tripped. They're not going to, they're not going to work on your phone. Now, what software has to do with hardware, I don't fucking know, but you know, whatever, they're, they're not going to work on your phone. Um, so I can't install a custom recovery on here unless I want to trip my warranty bit and thus my warranty is void. Now I just got this phone not too long ago so I've got probably about seven or eight months left until the warranty expires after that. Oh yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna really probably well I don't know I might leave it alone. Uh, this phone as you saw in my other videos, my S2, um, you know, you know that it's rooted, you know I have a custom recovery, and you know that I can boot ROMs on it, because I showed you in the other video. So, uh, <clears throat> it, this, is th this thing is like the easiest to fucking hack, I mean, there's no warranty bit or anything. The warranty bit came on, started coming on uh, Jelly Bean uh, 4.3, Android 4.3 Jelly Bean, whatever. And... It, it was kind of previewed in 4.2.2 because when I rooted this, um, super user uh, asked me if I wanted to disable Knox. And what Knox is, is fucking uh, Samsung's like security bullshit. And it, it just really sucks. So I disabled it on this phone, I disabled it on here, and, oh crap, and this phone, it doesn't have it at all, because this thing is completely, like, fucking, you know, unlocked, well, I mean, it's locked to AT&T, but, like, uh, it's unlocked as far as the bootloader, and, you know, uh, everything else, and I can actually, like, uh, yeah, I keep getting text messages, sorry, I can actually, like, uh, you know, uh, swap the kernel uh, in this. I'm using stock kernel right now, but I was using AJ kernel. Uh, I can swap the kernel in the S4 too, but I did. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to. Um, and then it really sucks because I want to boot the unofficial lollipop ROM that uh, the the guys over at XDA are developing on working on right now for the s3 but i <laughs> i'm not going to be able to unless i want to trip my warranty bit and i don't i want to i want to keep this phone as clean as possible now uh, if you root with tower root <clears throat> you it doesn't void your warranty it doesn't trip your warranty bit it doesn't even trip Knox. uh what you do is you root and then you uh download a program like titanium backup or uh like the program that I had that I pulled up a minute ago my root uh, my backup root and freeze it <laughs> freeze that bad boy freeze the Knox then install super user from the Play Store then super user will disable Knox for you upon installing super user because Knox interferes with super user Knox is basically there because um, you know it Samsung doesn't want you to, to root your phone anymore. I don't know why. They're getting very stupid on security. But um, as long as I don't let this phone update. Now, sure, it's going to get a lollipop update. But I'm not going to take it because if I do, my bootloader will lock. Like, completely. Right now, see, Loki's an exploit. And it basically bypasses the locked bootloader. And it just, that's all it does. It's a, it's a bootloader bypass. And uh, they fixed that in the, ne in the next uh, update, which I think was MK2. Uh, AT&T or Samsung patched it. And so if I upgrade to KitKat or Lollipop on this phone, my bootloader is going to be permanently locked. 
<laughs> and I don't want that. I really don't. <clears throat> because uh, I like the freedom of, you know, being able to boot ROMs and, you know, s use a different kernel if I want it. Uh, another awesome thing is with the S3 and the S4 is that they have notification lights and I've got this program called a light manager and basically you can change the color of your LED and you can get this off the Play Store it's free see my missed call is orange my messages is a cyan or cayenne however the fuck you say it um, MMS is a uh, blue uh, low battery is red charging is yellow and battery charged is green I go ahead and like demonstrate this thing for you right now since I have a text message that's the uh, the blue I think I don't know that might be the cyan or cayenne whatever but um Let's see what else. Uh, there's really not much else except um, like uh, software. Um, show you some of the software that I've got going on here, uh, or apps rather, programs, software, whatever. Uh, Greenify. This thing saves battery like hardcore. I haven't charged my phone since I think about. Uh, five o'clock yesterday and it's 5 30 now and it's just on 47 percent um oh and that's another thing you can do with a uh, wanum is uh put the date right there you can do things with the battery it's pretty fucking neat but anyway back to greenify uh, it, it will save your battery like hardcore and yes you have to have root to use well, no you don't have to have root to use it but it's better if you have root to use it uh, uh, let's see uh, no root firewall uh, if you're f familiar with windows and the uh, firewall called zone alarm uh, this uh, firewall is similar to that uh, I recommend it it's, really, it's a really good firewall I like it um, the sc oh, screen off app, you know, self explanatory. You touch it and the screen turns off. It's, uh, you know, comes in handy for when you don't want to, you know, hit the side button right here. Um, let's see, automate it's pretty good you can set up like text message replies and uh, stuff like that um, let's see. Ah, go to my s4 I think I have have the same yeah terminal terminal is awesome because if you know anything about Linux 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 um, basically this emulates Linux like you know if I want to take a look at the directory I type ls and that's everything in that fucking directory. Um, if I want to go down a directory, I hit CD space, and I think that's it. I haven't used Linux in a while. Yeah, it took me home, home. And then uh, you know you can do ls. Oops. Back up. Do ls. Hit enter again. That's it. Nothing is in that directory. So it's it's like uh, you know Linux terminal if you've ever if you've ever used that uh, oh root checker by uh, J Jerumi the guy that does BusyBox or J Jerumi I, I don't know but um, this just shows you if you're rooted uh, what super user management app you have and it also does. Uh, your, your phone info. Um, BusyBox, that's a whole other thing by itself. Uh, you kind of want, after you're, you you kind of want to install BusyBox because, you know, certain apps need it, but, you know, I don't have it installed. I said, I said, screw it. And then, you know, this shows you uh, all about your, um, your phone. Uh, 
shows the ROM, the board, the bootloader, the brand, everything. Goes all the way down. As you can see, I've got Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. Alright, that's just a handy little app that, you know, if you want to like check to see if you're rooted or not, you can get it on the Play Store. Um, uh, my backup, I have the, the similar app. Well, actually, uh, I think it's the same thing. Um, yeah, this one's called My Backup Root, and this one's called My Backup. But uh, anyway, what you can do is you can pretty much back up. Let's say I need Busy Box. You can pretty much back up uh, your entire phone. Um, I think it even asks you what you want to back up. Go to new yeah, applications and media or data. So you can back up, you know, your files and stuff. Um, I don't think it's like doing an Android in recovery. Um, I think it's a little different than that. I think it's more along the lines of uh, like how Titanium backup works. Um, just backing up your files and maybe your system files and stuff. I don't think it backs up the kernel and all that other good stuff like an Android backup does. <clears throat> and what an Android backup does is like it basically backs up your entire phone. I think I explained that in my other video. You do it in Clockwork Mod or Twerp or Team Win Recovery Project. Um, let's see, uh, Clean Masters. I really, really recommend Clean Masters um, or Clean Master because your phone accumulates junk over the course of usage. See, I've got 209 megabytes worth of just fucking junk. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit clean. It's going to clean my junk or cache, whatever you want to call it. I think, I think they just, uh, you know, wanted to be uh, proper with it. I don't know what that said. Oh, well. Uh, uh, if you're rooted, quick boot. Um, gives you a, uh, if, you want, if I want to reboot, do I want to reboot to recovery? Do I want to reboot to the main screen or do I want to do uh, power off? I'm sorry, not the main screen. I think it might be download mode. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Um, all right, later.